The bottom line is you got to do what you do best. I mean, so, uh, but we opened it up a little bit. I mean, yeah, we, I mean, the reverse pass, I guess, is opening it up. I mean, even though it didn't really work, but it did work. But, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, something that they bid on the thing. But, you know, and the thing that we've got to do, you, you watch yourself play and, you know, what are people doing to you? And then you watch them play and see what they're doing, and then you try to develop a plan. But, you know, obviously we have to get some misdirection. That's why we, we're running a lot more reverses than what we're doing right now because uh, – it just slows things down for us a little bit. And, and uh, you'll see more. You'll see different form. I mean, and when I say different formations, maybe some different personnel groups and, and different things. We try to do the same thing. I mean, it's, uh, you know, too hard to change everything. You're just trying to develop <clears throat> and run the same plays just out of different formations that you're involved in. But uh, I would say play calling in the first half, yeah, we did. We opened it up a little bit more to try to slow them down. I mean, he's a he's a to me a guy that's a game breaker. He uh, he's got unusual speed and shiftiness. Uh, in the two catches that he got, he broke tackles on both of them. Uh, we got to get him continue to get him involved in our offense. You know, we made a, I made a decision last week uh, to pull him out of red shirt, uh, uh, looking at where we were at and what we're trying to develop and to try to get a little bit more explosiveness and big plays for our offense. So, you know, so in watching him in fall camp and then watching him on the scout team, because I look at, you know, both sides of the ball every after every practice. And, and, and I try to look at, uh, you know, some of the young freshmen that are on the scout team, kind of see how they're doing. And, you know, he'd been doing a lot of things against our defense, so at running back. So, you know, I decided he could help us in the in the last seven games to to make some plays. The two plays he made in that game were huge. You know, so uh, he didn't. He got a chance to return one kickoff. He'll continue to be back there on kickoffs, and we'll uh, we'll use him in a different role. In fact, I was just sitting in my office thinking about what we're, we're going to try to do with him this week, really, to to get into football. Obviously, he's very determined. Uh, to prove that he can play quarterback, uh, you know, at Arizona State and, at, and at, in the Pac-10, and I, you know, he he's proved that, and I, and he'll continue to get better. Obviously, confidence is a factor in everything that you do. It's like shooting free throws. I mean, when you're hot, you're hot, and, and uh, he did some awfully good things. Didn't make the biggest thing is he didn't make mistakes. Uh, you know, again, and and. Um, Talking about Danny, I mean, he's throwing the ball real well. He's throwing the ball pretty darn well all year, uh, other than against Washington State where he had those turnovers. So he knows what's going on. He plays within himself, and he made a lot of plays for us. So I think it'll give him confidence. There's no question about that. You know, it's a lot different feeling than it was a year ago in that, that you know, I see us improving all the time. and, and uh, See us getting better offensively. We, we, just, we struggled so much last year uh, for whatever reason uh, offensively, for a lot of reasons. You know, and our front wasn't blocking like they had been. But now, you know, we're getting better. When you see yourself getting better, then there, you know there's hope to win every game that's left. So that's, you know, that's a good feeling as a football team to, to have that feeling and confidence. Well, they, I mean, they make a living doing it. I mean, I mean, they're physical up front. That's what Coach Harbaugh preaches. They, uh, they run the power play every way you can possibly run it. Uh, uh, Gerhard is, I mean, he's, he's a stud. I mean, he's 240 pounds that can run fast, breaks tackles. And so, I mean, he creates all kinds of problems. But they got a pair of three tight ends that are involved in their running game that, that uh, really make a big difference too, in the, and in their passing game. And what they do, and do it as well as anybody I've seen, you know, they'll, they'll uh, because Luck is really a good player, they run it, they run it, they run it, and they set up play pass, and, you know, they get some big plays doing that. So they're really a really good team. I mean, they really, I mean, what, he's, he's done a gr great job there in three years. And he's been there acquiring uh, a lot of skilled talent that I don't think that they've had there in the past. and. Uh, not just at running back, but, but at receiver and in the secondary. And 
But the key to them is their, is their offensive front. I mean, they're very physical and they, they, they play very physical. You know, they've been up and down defensively. They've played good at times. They've got talent. They've got a lot, a lot of those same guys back. Uh, you know, they're so much more athletic now on defense than they've been. They're down guys that have been around and played real well. So, uh, you know, I think that the uh, – or I know the Arizona game was kind of, you know, as, as far as the yardage and points and all that was kind of out, of out of kill a little bit just because of how the game went. And, and they got beat a couple times on blitz with the run at the end of the game. That, I'm sure we won't see again. And, but they have a good scheme. Ron Lynn, who's their defensive coordinator, coach for me at San Francisco, and, and uh, you know, they do a good job. And, and uh, again, we're not, it's not like they're up at night worrying about us scoring 60 points or anything like that. So, I mean, it's going to be, I mean, they'll be, a, they'll be tough. And, you know, Ron will always have something different that you gotta, that you got to be alert for. So. They're a good football team. I mean, the change that I've seen attitude-wise and athletically and how hard they play and how physical they play is, you know, credit to their coaching staff and, and their players and what they're doing. So they've lost a couple close ones. And, uh, you know, that game Saturday down Tucson was, you know, it just goes around. I guess what goes around comes around sometimes. You just, you just never know. Probably try to kick it as far away from him as we possibly can. Chris, I mean, he's, uh, you know, not just kick returning, but as a receiver, I mean, he's got great speed. That's what I was talking about. The skilled area that Stanford has developed here the last three years is really, really amazing. But he, but he's he's so dangerous. You got to have a plan against him, you know. And we're talking about that right now, and you know, whatever it may be. But you, you don't want to want him to have the ball all the time. Believe me. No, I mentioned it very lightly. Uh, I was very low keyed, I guess you could say. I don't think anybody recorded it, but uh, never know with all those YouTubes and MySpace and USpace, <laughs> out of space and all that stuff that they have. But uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, we just, I mean, we're shooting ourselves in the foot. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's ridiculous to put yourself in that position. I mean, when you're playing as well as we were playing, you know, we have them in field position inside the 10-yard line of 15, wherever it was. You know, we penalize them all the way down the field. I mean, we get penalties all the way down the field. <clears throat> you know, some third down penalties that were just crucial. You know, that would have made that game a little different at halftime. That's ridiculous. And uh, we just can't have that. You know, some of them were legitimate. Some of them I, I still can't find. But that's... You know, they seem to find things. So, but I mean, you can't have that. And uh, obviously, it could have cost us a game. There's no question about it.